In this lecture, I will show you how you can migrate modules. We've been developing and adding features to our module. Take for example, you developed a module in a previous version, maybe 16, 14, 15, and you want to migrate it to 17. How do you use that module? Do you develop a new one from scratch or do you use that same module directly? The answer is yes and no. Yes, if everything in your module um, is totally deprecated, that is, they don't use anything uh, that you have worked on. That is, if Odo has completely changed the things uh, that you used to use in the previous version, then you might need to uh, do something from, from scratch, but it might be faster because you already have some logic behind um, maybe you just need to check some things from the Python. You need to change some things on uh, the view. So I will not say 100% that you have to start from scratch, but there's something for you to work with. And also, you can't just drop in the module into your add-ons path and think everything will work fine. No, you have to check. The first and easy thing to do is to uh, install the module first and see what error you get, then you tackle the errors from there. And this is migration relating to modules. If you have more robust database, you might also want to migrate the data. Uh, but for now, we don't have uh, a robust database. This database, I created a new one, and I just want to be able to use the module here. So we'll just focus on module migration. So how do you do that? Uh, remember, we have our modules here. And... Um, We've added it to the add-ons path. So what I'll do is restart and um, navigate to apps. Make sure I update apps list and I should be able to see both modules here. So I have real estate ads and real estate ads salesperson. The one we used to learn module extension. So I'm going to install this guy. Straight up, I got error. Went into calendar definition, and um, this is the name of the file. So I add on to property underscore view. We have here in views and property underscore view. Yeah. And we are pointing to calendar, so search calendar. So somewhere around here, something is not used again. You can take this attribute. And one easy way is to check against Odoo add-ons. Search for the event open pop-up. And we see that it is still used in some places. So it's very likely that it's not this guy. I will check the next one. Quick add. And check the view. You see these views, it does not look like it is being used the way we used it in our previous version. So what I will do is remove that attribute. So I've removed that attribute and I restart. I install again, I try to activate it. And now we get something else. If you don't want to check here, you can also check your PyCharm and see what is there. Now it says actress, that is attributes and states attributes are no longer used. So let's search for where we used actress. Now we used it here. Now to do this, you have to do invisible equals to garden. Also, here you do the same thing invisible when guardian equals to false. I remove them and do like this. I remove this and I remove this. Let's hope we don't have anywhere else. So I restart and activate again. 
and the module is installed, but the view seems to be disturbed. Now the module is installed, but the view is not coming up. So what I will do is inspect and check what is happening here. All right, this is probably related to our client action. In the previous lecture, I showed you that the client action has changed and we will bring in the code to this JavaScript. So this JavaScript is the issue. We have done this before, so I will just copy and paste this here. I restart. I refresh this view again. Now our audio seems to be loading fine. And we can check the properties. And we should be seeing the client action here, but I think we disabled it in our menu. If I bring this back, That's this. Now we have the client action. So this migration seems to be fine. I'm going to check the second module and activate. Yeah, this seems also fine. And um, let me try to create a property. Click on edit and we have this. So when garden is false, some fields are supposed to be empty and that field is which one? Um, search for garden. Yeah, garden area is supposed to be invisible when garden is false and we can't see garden area, but I will enable garden and we can see garden area and garden orientation. So that seems to be working fine and we can the type of property, the price, 200, so just select anything here and close this. Um, open up this, then I will try to send email. Uh, this seems to be working. Uh, sold, it seems to change to the state, so no error on this. Um, I will click on publish. It seems to be published so everything seems to be okay so that is how you do migration this is very basic there are some complex modules that requires more uh, time there are some modules that might require you to check auto add-ons and you have to check if uh, the idea of a view still exists like we did in this module that we inherited from rest user look at the view base dots view underscore users underscore form. So let's say Odo has changed this ID and this ID does not exist again. We have no other choice than to check what ID it has been changed to. You see, we add some expert here. If Odo has re renamed preferences to something else, then we also need to check that also. So this is just a basic way of migrating. You don't need to start from scratch 100%. You just need to know what has changed in the previous version compared to the new version and everything should be okay. And that will be all for migration.